Welcome to the paddle wheel dishcloth. Today we're going to be creating about a six and a half inch um, dishcloth that is really kind of hand sized. If you don't want to use this as a dishcloth or a face cloth, you can also use it as a trivet underneath hot pans and pots. You are going to need um, just under an ounce of a four, um, four, a number four weight worsted weight cotton. I am going to be using, I love this cotton in banana today, just because it's easy to see on the screen. You will also need, and I'm using a number seven, four and a half millimeter hook. You can really use any hook size you want, but in order to achieve the, you know, one that I have here, that's the size you'll need. You'll also need a scissors and you'll need a needle for tucking in your ends. I'm going to start with a slip stitch and a chain four. I'm going to slip stitch this chain four together in the first chain to create a circle, which is right there in the middle. I'm going to chain four again, and this is gonna act as a double crochet and a chain one. Now inside the circle, I'm putting a double crochet and a chain one. Do this 11 more times because we want a total of 12 double crochets and 12 chain ones in this inner circle. See how you just keep working in that center and it'll just kind of open up. If you find that you're getting kind of tight in there, scoot your stitches over to the left. All right, so I have completed this. I should have 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I do, and I finished with a chain one, so I'm going to slip stitch in the third chain, so one, two, three, from my original chain four, to join my pieces together. So you should have a circle that starts like that. All right, moving on to round two, we're gonna chain four again. We're gonna skip two chain one spaces, so this chain one space and this chain one space, as well as the double crochet in between. So one, two, three. We're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet. And we're gonna do this a total of six times. So skipping the next chain, double and chain, go into the next double. Chain four, skipping the next chain, double chain, slip stitch. One, two, three, and four, skipping, going into the next. One, two, three, four, Okay, and now we've come up to the very last skip, skip, skip. We're going to slip stitch into the first chain of our first chain four. So when you get done, it should look kind of like there's little flower loops almost going around your circle. We're gonna move on to row three, so chain two. This is going to count as a half double crochet. We're gonna be working behind the chain fours here. So into the first chain one space, which is right here, but working behind this, you're gonna put two half double crochets into that chain one space. So push your chain four forward and bring your back stitches kind of up to the front so that you can work in them. Put one half double crochet into the double crochet and another two half double crochets into the next chain one space. So when you're looking at it, you should have worked into the stitches that are actually right down here, but push this chain four forward. All right, and now in the posts of that slip stitch that you made into this double crochet here, 
work a half double crochet around the posts of that slip stitch. Now, continuing to push your chain four forward, do two half double crochets in the chain one space, one half double crochet in the double, and two in the next chain one space, and one around the posts of that slip stitch. Like so. Okay, keep doing this all the way around. All right, I worked all the way around and I'm back at my first chain two. So I'm going to slip stitch to that chain two to finish round three. And we'll go on to round four. So we're going to chain one. Next thing we're gonna do is do a front post double crochet around the chain two, which acts as our half double crochet. So yarn over as though you're gonna do a regular double, go around the post from the front to the back and then the back to the front, pull it up and complete your double crochet like normal. All right, so now we're gonna chain two. We're gonna skip a half double crochet. Now remember that a half double crochet throws its its top to the right. So you're gonna be skipping this one and going into this one. You're gonna double crochet into that next half double crochet, chain one, skip one, double into this one. We're gonna chain two, skip one, and front post around the next half double crochet. chain two, skip one, double crochet into the next, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next, chain two, skip one, front post. The reason we're doing that chain two before we do the front post is because if we leave it as a chain one going all the way around, it's going to pull too tightly and your circle's gonna scrunch up. So we're actually leaving a little bit of extra space because this, this um, space needs a little bit of room. Um, so we're skipping here, doubling here. Here we can do a one because it's just a one for one. But here we have a little bit more room and we're trying to round the corner here. So chain two front post around the half and chain two again. Skip one, double in the next, chain one, skip one, double in the next, chain two, skip one, front post around the next, chain two, skip one, double, chain one, skip one. So if you just kind of break it down into different parts, when you're coming up to the front post, you know that you have to chain two before and after the front post. When you're in the center space between the two front posts, you only chain one, skip one, and then double in the next. Okay, so hit the end of this round, and I'm not going to slip stitch into that chain one. That does not count as any kind of stitch for us. I'm gonna go right into that front post double crochet that I started with. Now you should start to be able to kind of see your paddle wheel design coming up. That's the center spoky section here. All right, row five, chain four. And then we're gonna skip this chain two space. We're gonna slip stitch into the next, well, this chain two space and this double crochet. We're gonna slip stitch into this next chain one space. We're gonna chain four again. We will skip this double crochet and this chain two, and we will slip stitch into the front post double crochet. Chain four. Skip the chain two and the double, slip stitch into the chain one, chain four, skip the double and the 
in the chain two, slip stitch into the front post. So you're gonna be chaining four, slipping into the chain one, chaining four, slipping into the front post all the way around. Once again, I've worked all the way around my um, circle and I'm back to the beginning. I've chained four, I'm skipping the double, the last chain two, and I'm gonna slip stitch into the first chain of my first chain four. All right, I just split my iron. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it should look a little bit like another little flower. And we're gonna move on to round six. Now there is a caution in the written pattern itself. It says, be careful not to skip over the single double crochet stitches. They can sometimes get lost while you're working the row and make sure you, your row count is right before you move on. So we're gonna chain two, this acts as a half double crochet and we are going to be working behind the chain fours again so we're going to push all of this forward we're going to do three half double crochets into this first chain two space so one two and three and this chain two does count as a half double crochet i can't remember if i said that or not we're going to half double crochet in this double crochet here we are gonna half double crochet around the bars of the slip stitch again. We're gonna half double crochet around the next double crochet. And three in the chain two space. And then half double crochet around the next set of bars. So that's gonna be your repeat going all the way around. And the reason why I said put a cautionary note in there is because personally, when I was remaking this, what I had a habit of doing was accidentally skipping over this double crochet right here. It would get lost in behind my work because I would just be zipping along and I would think, oh, I've got to do another three half double crochets in the chain two. Well, it's the total repeat is three in the chain two, one in the regular double, one in the post, one in the regular double, three in the chain two space again, and one in the post. So you have to hit all of these in order to end up with 60 at the end because between this front post double crochet and this front post double crochet, there should be a total of 10 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So starting with the half double crochets that you put into the chain two space to the bars over here at this front post double crochet, this is 10 stitches. So you should have a total of 60 going around, including this one at the end, um, or at the beginning or the end, or however you wanna look at it. Cause you'll be slip stitching into this chain two uh, once you hit the end over here. So like I said, just, as you're going around, just be careful that you are hitting all of the stitches that you need to, otherwise it won't come out right and it will screw up the next round because each row uh, builds on the previous one. All right, so I'm gonna let you finish that up. I'll meet you back over here when you've completed, or well, when I've completed that part. All righty, so I have completed round six. I joined with my slip stitch and I've chained one, getting ready for round seven going to front post double crochet around the first chain two from round six because it does act as our half double crochet. I am chaining two and I'm skipping one half double crochet. All right, so essentially we're going to do another row like this down here and before and after our front post double crochets, we are going to have to do a chain two instead of a chain one. So we're starting with a chain two, skip half double crochet, double crochet in the next. And then in parentheses in the instructions, it says to chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next three times. So we're bridging the space between this front post and this front post. All right, so chain one, skip one, double in here. That's one. Chain one, skip one, double in here. That's two. Chain one, skip one, double in here. All right, so we've done that three times. We're gonna chain two, skip one, front post here. Remember, before and after, 
our front post we chain two. So we did that, we're skipping one and doubling. And so we're just completing that repeat again. Your repeat is going to be to chain two, skip one, double. Then do your chain one, skip one, double across, and then chain two and front post. All right, that's what we're doing in between our front post spaces. So we're on the repeat of chain one, skip one, double. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain two, skip one, front post. Chain two, skip one, double. All right, now here's our three repeat again. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain one, skip one, double. Chain two, skip one, front post. All right, I think you've got the idea. You can go ahead and finish up this round and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, back to the beginning of round seven. My chain two is here. I'm gonna slip stitch to my first front post double crochet. We are going to move on to round eight. I've only got this one and one more row and we're done. See, this is a nice quick make. We've only got the three tiers. All right, chain four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to skip the chain two space and the double crochet. We're going to slip stitch into the next chain one. Chain four. Skip two double crochets and a chain one space. So this one, chain one space, and this one, slip stitch into the next chain one. Chain four. Skip a double crochet and a chain two space and slip stitch into the front post. All right, so let's look at what our repeat is gonna be. If we're looking at the front post double crochet as the start of our repeat, so, or actually the end of our repeat, depending on how you wanna look at it. So we chain four, we put a slip stitch into the first chain one, we chain four, we skip the next chain one and put the slip stitch into the next one, all right? So like every other opening, that one, that one, and then your front post double crochet, okay? So when we're going this way, you'll put it into this one and this one, and then your front post double crochet. So like I said, every other opening until you get to the front post. We'll do it one more time. One, two, three, four, Skip this opening, slip stitch into this one. One, two, three, four. Skip this opening, slip stitch into this one. One, two, three, four. Skip this opening, slip stitch into the front post. That's the only real difference when it comes to, you know, skipping an opening is you have to go into the front post, not into the next opening. Alrighty. Okay, so complete that all the way around. Go ahead and join with the first chain of your first chain four. And um, I'll meet you back over here and we'll complete this with round nine. Alrighty, here's our last round. We're gonna do round nine. So starting with a chain two, which does count as our half double crochet. Once again, working behind our chain fours, we're going to do two half double crochets into this first chain space. Two in here. We're gonna half double into the next double. Half double around the bars of the slip stitch. And then half double into the double. All right, do that again. Two into the chain space one into the double, one into the bars, 
1 into the double. Now, 2 into this last chain space and 1 into the bars. Wants to be all tight on me here. Okay, of our of our front post basically. <clears throat> So in our first space, and if you're kind of looking at it, you know, don't kind of ignore your f your chain fours going around because we're dealing with this, with the spaces and, ch and double crochets underneath. So in this first space, we do two, then in to um, the double, the um, bars of the slip stitch into the double, two into this chain space, double, do the bars, double and two into this chain space and one into the bars. Okay, so in total you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen stitches between your front post spaces. So there's two into the chain space, one into the double, one into the bars, one into the double. Repeat that again. Two into the chain space, one into the double, one into the bars, one into the double. Now two into the chain space, one into the bars. That's your repeat between the two front posts, double crochets. Two, one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one. All right, continue that all the way around. Go ahead and slip stitch with your first chain two and I'll meet you back up over here when we're done. All right, round nine is complete. At this point, you can go ahead and cut it would leave a fairly decent length, <clears throat> just so you've got enough to tuck in. And then what I do is I will just flip it over. And I will weave in to the bottoms of my stitches. Without pulling too tight, because that'll make a little divot. I did it on this one if you pull too tightly. And then I will always catch one of the pieces going back. So like I'll skip over this one and go under the next one so that should something happen and it gets pulled on, it can't just pull right out because it's secured around that one right there. All right. Thank you so much for making the paddle wheel dishcloth with me. I hope you have enjoyed this pattern.